Hey everybody, Mike here from The Art of Guitar, here to give you a quick lesson on how to get 90%... Okay, let's try again. Hey everyone, Mike here from The Art of Guitar, just here for a quick lesson on how to make guitar 90% easier to play. I know a lot of people think it's just some crazy uh, clickbait that I'm putting up so that you'll uh, come to my site. Partially true, but not all true. I had a lesson the other day and my student uh, was having a lot of trouble. He said he was trying to play a couple riffs and he just couldn't quite feel it when he played and he was having trouble keeping up with it. And uh, I won't use the exact riff he was using because it was his own riffs that he was playing. I don't really remember them, but it was basically the kind of picking you would use in like Metallica songs, maybe Master of Puppets or something. And I said, okay, so you're having trouble with it? Go ahead and play it. And he started to play it. He was like this. And I thought about what I do in jiu-jitsu. Uh, sometimes when I'm doing grappling, sometimes um, I'm going really hard and I'm struggling and I'm really pushing and using a lot of energy. And my teacher usually asks me, you know, do you really have to use that much energy or can you use technique more when you do your, do your rolling? So that really taught me um, the importance of using that concept in everything that I do. So what I asked my student to do is I said, could you play what you just did, except this time only use 10% of the energy, of the, uh, you know, just the, the stress level. Just use 10% back way off one time, and let's see if you could uh, do the same thing, but just with 10% of the output that you're doing. And so he basically did this. It was pretty amazing. He thought, okay, 10%. All of a sudden he went. I was like, whoa, what just happened? He looked really excited too. And he's like, I don't know, I just backed off. I only played about 10% and uh, it sounded pretty good, felt really good. I'm like, okay, now I want you to go back to 100% and play what you just did. And he did and he went. And I saw all the tension come back and I saw his his face kind of scrunch up like that as he played and he held his breath a little bit. And I thought, isn't that strange that when you try to play at 10% of your normal level, you basically just get rid of all the extra stuff that you don't need in the first place. So it's kind of like what Alan Watts said one time. He's like, if you're told to look at something by your teacher and you look at it, and then they say, now I want you to really look at it, really stare at it. You're still just looking at it, but all of a sudden you find yourself tensing up, your eyes are getting wide, you're using all these extra facial muscles for no reason. You could just have to look at the object. So it's the same way with guitar. Sometimes you just have to play the music. You don't have to try to play the music. This gets into like Star Wars philosophy and stuff. But you get the idea. The way to make guitar 90% easier to play is by getting rid of all the extra stuff that you don't need to actually just physically play the guitar. So use my student as an example. I know he's going to be able to change everything that he plays now and make it way less stressful. He's going to actually have fun when he plays. And who knows, when he starts to play on stage with that philosophy, he might actually be able to enjoy himself a lot more than worrying about playing and stressing out and using way too much energy than he has to. He could put the energy to other things like running around the stage and looking crazy and stuff. So see if that helps you guys. And um, I can pretty much guarantee it's going to help everybody even just a little bit. Some people it's going to help a lot. So uh, see what happens.